Tara Manisic here. I am on Netlify's template team and I'm really excited to announce that we just did a ecosystem collaboration with Pajamas to launch a new blog theme template for you to use with Next.js, Tailwind, MDX, light and dark themes. It looks lovely. Uh, if you're not familiar, Pajamas is an agency. It's Jamstack Developers for Hire and uh, we basically wanted to work with them so we could give you something that looks really great and is really easy to use and easy to deploy. So if you had um, you know, any ideas for a blog you wanted to do or basically use this template for whatever your heart desires, you've come to the right place. Um, I'm going to walk you through what this um, template is, how to use it, how to deploy it, and basically help you kind of just hit the ground running. So let's go. You can find their project here um, on our Netlify templates a repo and use this template button to make it your own. Give it your repo name or you can scroll down and there's a deploy to Netlify button which will connect to your GitHub. And then you can pick the repo name here. I did something really original. <laughs> My cool blog yo. <laughs> and go ahead and hit save and deploy to deploy it to Netlify. But there's a wizard. <laughs> You can also use this wizard that the pajamas team made, which is really awesome. You fill in the, uh, the name, the blog title, the footer, um, and it will set these as in these environment variables, and then it will help you pick which color scheme you would like to use. And then you can hit continue, and then choose the different fonts you want for headings and for paragraphs. Um, I like this because it limits my options, <laughs> but then you can see what this all looks like. And once you see that kind of change a few things to what looks best once you see it all together. And then once you have that, you can actually hit that deploy to Netlify button that will do, guess what? <laughs> a deploy to Netlify. Um, so it's kind of that same, same process that we saw with the DTN button, but you get the wizard to pick everything out that how you wanted it to look, which it, it sets as these global um, variables or environment variables, which we'll look into. Uh, just kind of letting you know, these modes will match the mode of the user's settings. So the light or dark mode or that switch at the bottom. So when you have your uh, repo up, you have the code and you wanna create a new post, all the posts live in this post directory. So you can just make a new MDX um, file and there's uh, links to MDX if you want more information about that in the repo. Uh, add some front matter at the top so you have some data and then uh, go ahead and you can run locally with yarn run dev and that way you can then look over and row, go to localhost 3000 and see hey there's the post that I just created. Um, and so that's nice that you can uh, check this out locally and see what everything looks like. So you can also change the template info. So in here, there's utilities with global data where you have things like the name, the title, the footer text, all things that you saw in the wizard there. Um, but you can set these as environment variables to help you with the deployment process of having these things um, just be available here. So in uh, Netlify, you set them with the environment variables in the build and deploy environment section. You save it. And then you'll want to go back to your um, deploy tab, deploys tab, to then actually trigger a new deploy to have those changes in environment variables take place. Um, that's a great way if that is your preferred method. Um, but if you choose not to have them, um, in your environment variables. I'll show you how we do that as well. But I just wanna show you, once this build is complete, you can go ahead and take a look and you see the very top it's changed there and in the tab on the window because we changed the name. Um, so now you see here with that global data .js file, this is where it's grabbing that information and it's in a ternary. So if you wanted to change that and make sure I always said this if there was no uh, process M environment variable, that's where you can change it. So that's the new default and see it's in the tab and the page. 
But then if you just uh, know that the name is always going to be and you wanted to hard code it, it lives here in the index.js file. So that's where global data.name is. So that's the header. Um, if you wanted to change it there, you could just hard code it there. I just wanted to let you know where it lived. Um, and so there you see it's updated at the top. So that should be all the information you need to get started. Uh, feel free to ping us in the repo at uh, Netlify on Twitter. You can find Bajamas at B-E-J-A-M-A-S dot I-O, Bajamas dot I-O. Uh, highly recommend checking out their stuff. You can find us at Netlify.com. Um, and feel free also if you have any questions about templates or uh, any templates that you want to see to send us an email at templates at Netlify.com. Thank you very much for joining me.